Hello, my name is Ravika. I'm a veterinary medicine student of second year, and today I will be talking to you about my second year experience. To start off, I actually already have a video uh, of me talking about my first year experience. The link will be below in case you are a student starting um, as first year and had any questions about first year. The main differences are definitely that you do notice that second year gets more intense because subjects are taught with more depth and uh, you start off first, second year with the pressure that you will be having your anatomy exam at the end of the first semester. The start of the second uh, year was uh, intense for me, especially because I hadn't gotten the exemption in any of my previous anatomy colloquiums, so I didn't have an easier start to my anatomy exam. Um, so the pressure was definitely higher at the start of the second year. Personally, I think the best way to study for anatomy in order to pass it and have a clear idea of all the structures is to study the body section by section. So for example, the thoracic limb, you should start with the bones of the thoracic limb, then go muscles, and then the, all the vessels of the thoracic limb. This helps because a lot of the names are related to the bone structures or the muscle structures. So it does make sense and it all has a logic to it. So if you're able to study it all together at the same time, I think it'll stick better. This personally was, to me, is the best way to study for anatomy. Uh, in second year, you start going to Building C. Uh, that was a bit of a new experience because uh, if your lessons are early in the morning, you have to wake up at six to be able to get the bus and get there on time. But you get used to it and it does become a routine. So there's nothing to worry about, nothing too big of an issue. There's no major differences in the academic calendar, as in when it starts and when it finishes. Exam session is usually the same for everyone at the university, so also no difference in that for first and second year. Uh, the only thing is that the subjects are the, not the same, but the amount of subjects is the same, but because they're more intense, you won't be needing to study more for them. So there might be less time because you're studying more. The subjects that you will be carrying on from uh, first year are anatomy and Bulgarian. The newly introduced subjects are genetics, nutrition, physiology, biochemistry, and you will also have an elective subject, which I talk about in the first video, uh, and it, that will be insurance. Anatomy gets definitely harder because uh, you have one, the pressure of the exam, and two, you are studying a harder part of anatomy, which is the vessels, all the different arteries, nerves around the body. And that one is takes a lot of memorizing. Bulgarian, no, doesn't get harder. It's uh, once a week. You always have Bulgarian once a week, four or three hours around. And it's not hard. It's just you need to keep repeating and practicing. The new subjects are definitely harder, especially physiology, because of the amount of material. There's a lot of in basic information that you should know in order to understand all the subjects that are presented in physiology. Um, insurance focuses a lot on uh, how to protect maybe a future business that you will be opening a clinic and how to protect it and make sure that it's well insured. Uh, genetics focuses on genetics, genetics, mm, the basic idea of genetics in your genes. Uh, nutrition is very interesting. You uh, study different diet plans that animals need to follow, different animals, for example, the different diet that a pregnant horse would have compared to a race horse, which is very interesting. Out of these subjects, uh, physiology and biochemistry are uh, continued into the next semester. In, at the end of the first semester, you will be doing the exam on anatomy, nutrition, and genetics. And also Bulgarian is done at the end of second semester. And genetics and uh, nutrition was not so hard. It was uh, very doable if you give yourself time to go over all the material. 
a week should be enough. But anatomy is very hard. I wasn't able to pass it and still haven't passed it. But I do have colleagues which have passed it because of their persistent visiting of the lab. It's very important for anatomy to have a not constant but frequent visit to the lab to just memorize and go over everything that we have studied in the previous semesters. New subjects of uh, second semester of second year are um, microbiology, pathophysiology, um, ethology, lab animals and animal husbandry. Animal husbandry is very fun because we get to go to the farm and so it becomes very practical. Uh, pathophysiology is very interesting as it uses histology and cytology material as well as uh, physiology so you have to combine a lot of your previous knowledge and make sure to revise before your lessons because the professor will ask questions about the topics, previous topics. Microbiology is very practical. We do experiments every lesson and it's also very interesting. We also use the microscopes. I haven't graduated from second semester yet. I haven't passed it yet, so I still need to do the exams. I definitely advise you for second semester of, before second semester of uh, second year to go over your material of histology, cytology and physiology as it will really help you in pathophysiology and physiology because you are still studying physiology to just go over your material that you've done in the previous semester. It'll be very helpful to even follow the uh, practices because they are fast practices and the professor does expect you to know already some information. So if you just are in the game with your head uh, it'll just be easier for you to follow and understand the lessons better. For second year, uh, we started going to the farm uh, for animal husbandry, as part of animal husbandry. Uh, the farm is uh, two hours away, around from so around, uh, away from Sofia, from the uni, uh, by bus. We take a bus all together as the whole group goes. Uh, we pay two lev each. The bus is organized by our professor and we go, we spend maybe one hour there. We need to have appropriate shoes, uh, boots, plastic boots, which you'll find in any shop that sells also your lab coats. And yeah, then after observing, we come back to uni and continue with the lessons of our day. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, good luck on uh, first and second year and I hope this video was useful in some way and uh, see you around in Sofia.